<sighs> so at the start of this video, you see me in the uh, same clothes I wore the previous video. Well, this is all about to change, so... That probably wasn't as, uh, as nice as I'd have liked it to be, because I don't know where I sat. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are building the upper floor and the walls, hopefully. I didn't film this part because it's boring and there's no point, but I've put metal straps on two of the um, studs. People must think I'm absolutely bonkers. I just start randomly shouting things. I know you won't be able to see it. <laughs> I know you won't be able to know this, but because it's always like in fast forward or like a weird cinematic thing. But I'll just say the most random stuff and there'll be a person walking down the public footpath next to the garden <laughs> looking at me like I'm insane. Day four, and this is how my trestle has turned out. It's like a patchwork quilt. It's ridiculous. <laughs> There's lots of wind, so I won't be talking as much. There you have it. Nice, even decking. That strip is the same as that strip, thickness-wise. I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind, but I've left that one with one uh, screw in because I want to take that up when I'm putting my wrap on, or my felt, as we call it in England. I've got to cut the post now to catch the canopy coming over so you can watch from afar.
somewhere less, uh, where there's less traffic, but I've got to stay two meters away because of coronavirus. So I'm not moving the snail. Walk away. Oh, don't, it's really windy. I'm not sure if you can hear me because of the wind, so I'll speak briefly. But I'm very frustrated with myself doing these posts. As you can see, on the face I've put two, two holes. And then on the other one, I completely had a brain fart. And I only put one. Look at that. Yeah, you can see that. So I'm a little bit frustrated with myself that it's not equal, but I can't do anything about it now, anyway. Right, just now the wind's down, I had a change of plan. I was gonna put all the wrap on and all the felt on today, but I think I'm just gonna put the structure of the roof on instead. We're gonna do a cut roof on it and see how that works out. If you've ever done traditional roofing, you'll always know that your first rafter is your sacrificial rafter. Just like a barbecue, your first burger or whatever you put on it is a sacrificial one. It's just how it goes. So, I've had to uh, switch to handheld cam with the uh, uh, camera. Oh, back it up, give me a sec. Oh. So basically, it's really, really windy, hence why you probably can hear the wind right now. I'm kind of fearing for my life because if you look up, well, one, I'm under a tree because he has tree house. But just look at how many trees there are. And the amount of cracks that I've heard from their branches is quite daunting actually. So I'm, I'm in a little bit of a predicament at the moment. So I need to try and get this roof on as quick as I can um, and try not to die. So I don't know how, how, how good the quality is gonna be now of this video because I'm trying to rush and my camera's been thrown around like a rag doll as well in the wind. So we'll, uh, we'll try our best. I don't know if you can tell from the videos, but the trails are very wobbly. Already with two of them in, it's already massively stiffer. Yeah, we'll go with stiffer. That is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out whatsoever because it's been a very much a broken, uh, broken episode of filming today. However, what I will say is that I can tell I put them supports in. It's not moving this thing now. And that isn't an exaggeration. So at least that's improved anyway. Thank you very much for watching the video. Truly appreciate it. Um, subscribe for more idiocy on this channel. See you later, people.